Hey everyone, welcome back to Farm and Mini. So behind me, I have some IBC water totes. Now, there are a lot of uses for these totes, but we're gonna be using them for storing our firewood. And in, in today's video, I'm going to show you what tools we're gonna to be using, how we get the plastic tank out of there, and what cuts we're gonna to need to make to help store the firewood in them. So I'm gonna get these unstrapped and we'll get started. Now, before I pull these off the trailer, just a couple things I wanna show you about, uh, you probably wanna be careful with, with handling these totes. First thing, I always recommend, you probably wanna put some gloves on. I always keep a pair of nice leather gloves around for me. There are screws that go into these. There are um, metal edging. So sometimes if you're maybe running some straps or trying to pick them up, this little lip right here can be razor sharp. And anywhere you have these screws, there can always be a little burr on the back. So if you just reach in, grab it, try to pick it up, you could end up um, cutting yourself pretty bad. So look around these totes. They're fairly manageable. So you think you can probably just pick them up, push them around, but you always wanna put some gloves on and kind of examine the tote, make sure that you know where you're putting your hands and there's not gonna be any sharp edges. Okay, so before I get started tearing these apart, I'm going to quickly show you the tools I'll be using for this project. And I'll go through them with again, one being the leather gloves. I use a sawzall to cut out the area that I'm gonna to need to remove for leaning into the tote to do the firewood. And I'll show you that a little later. A grinder to help with some of the edges from the cutting and I use a impact and the screws I was mentioning earlier are a T40. That will take those screws out of the totes. So I just removed the top crossbars that give the tote support and I'm going to hold on to the supports and the screws just in case I decide to use them later to support the tote. I have seen and heard from other people that they will cut out a section of the tote and then use the supports to run back across there. I'm not sure if I'm going to need to do that or not. But the next thing to get this bladder out and yes it is blue which all that means is whoever had, whatever company had these totes used blue dye in them. So I uh, will be careful with um, getting that out and making a mess with that. But with the cap on and everything closed up, all you do is take and put it on its side. Here. And 
and there's my cage and I will repeat for the next three totes that I have I'm about ready to make my cuts on this to open it up so you can have some area to lean into to place your firewood down there uh, again that's what I'll be using these for I mentioned you can use these things for all sorts of things I've seen people turn these into uh, livestock hay feeders you can use them for uh, scrap bins um, pretty much anything that you can lift up with a forklift or a tractor they're great for um, but uh, one quick thing is a little sharpie before I get started on my cuts I'm gonna go through and actually mark the spots that I'm going to cut out that way I don't uh, go ahead and get too happy with the sawzall and make too many cuts because you can't put it back All right, safety first, gloves, sawzall, face shield, and we'll bake our cuts. And just like that, we have a section cut out. You can lean over to place the firewood in there. And we will now take the grinder and hit all those edges because that will leave a, a scratch if you rub your arm against that. So, yep, coming together. Well, that wasn't bad at all and now we have our first cage for storing our firewood I'm super excited about that actually because that also helps keep track of how much firewood I'm able to split and this being the first year we're really starting to do firewood it's gonna be helpful to know how much we have to sell this coming fall the math if you calculate the length the width and the height and you fill this to the top and a little bit over they say it gives you a third of a cord so that's going to be helpful to know when it comes time to sell this so now the fun part and that is we're going to go grab the tractor load this thing up and take it over to the wood pile and get our first um, load into the cage here
All right, got our first tote loaded with firewood and it does look good, nice and clean. Now the other thing that I did not go over and that's because of the blue dye in the totes or the uh, bladder part of the totes is you can cut um, uh, the top out of those and use them to place on top and that will help keep the rain off of them. But I'm gonna have to see about cleaning those first before I go into cutting them and, 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 and exposing that big mess that I'm potentially gonna get into. But I think that about wraps up today's video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about the cutting of the IBC totes, uh, feel free to drop a comment down below. And as always, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one.